Okay. People came in and gave me likes because I was supposed to be on a little bit ago. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Ran into some technical difficulties, but good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for tuning in to Cali's Homesteading with Pooh Bear. It's your girl, Pooh Bear. It's been a day. Hi, my Renaissance grandma. Good, good evening. It's not morning for you. Good evening. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to use my meat grinder for the first time, uh, my new electric one, when, uh, ooh, it's like two weeks ago. No, it was before my birthday. Hi, Nikki. Hey. Um, before, my birthday was September 18th, so before September 18th, Lay did a video where he was using his new electric meat grinder. I don't know if y'all saw that, but um, I personally have had this heavy-duty meat grinder, and this is the, um, oh my gosh, what do you call it? I, I can't think right now, but anyway. This is how it would come out, but I couldn't find the um, the seal, that uh, bolt or whatever you call it, I don't know. But this, I hated it because it was handheld and I don't even have the crank wheelie, but you have to crank it. And that thing takes forever, right? So I hadn't used it in a long time, the handle. I hadn't used this grinder in a long time, over a couple of years. It had just been sitting there. We used to use it, but when you have a big family like me, I just didn't have the energy. And I mean, yeah, I would get the kids to help me sometimes, you know, grind it, but nobody was checking for me for that. So when Led did his video, I said, let me turn this a little bit, push it back. When Led did his video, I said, I'm going to order myself a grinder. So, I did this. And if you guys saw my happy birthday to me, hi, Vanessa. That's my best friend, y'all. Y'all um, saw my happy birthday to me. This was what I got myself for my birthday. So, you guys can... Unveil it with me. Let me turn it this way. Okay. So, this is the manual, and you're always supposed to read the instruction manual first. So, let's, let's go over it. First, we got to clean it, but okay, here goes the nozzle. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, we're going to figure it out as we go. But here goes all of the different... Um, the plates so that you can make it look like how thick you want it or how fine you want it so we'll go through that but let's see what is this the blades gotta go wash this so let's see Okay, maybe, well, no, I think we get different places that we can get different sizes, but this is the one that was already in there. Okay, so I'm learning now. Okay, so you take it, you have to put it through these little grooves right here on the side. See, so this goes into here. It's two of them, one on each side. So you get them into there. Then you put this back on. All right, we got that part. Okay, so now let's see. What do you? Oh, this is the part. Oh, y'all. Did y'all used to enjoy doing this more than you did the toys y'all used to get when y'all were kids? I used to love the popping paper. So this is to push it down. I think that goes like that. We push. We'll figure it out. 
I'm so excited. Y'all have been wanting to do this video for so long. Okay, so here goes the different plates, the different um, bit sizes. Let's open that up so I can show you guys. So you see, this one is really fine. Yeah, I can see. Then this one is bigger. And then let's see in comparison. Oh yeah, you guys, you can see. This is the medium and then this would be the large. So let's see. Small medium large can y'all see the small uh okay there you go small medium large all right so i think i'm going to make when i'm making tonight the ground turkey chicken is going to be medium yeah so i'm hey i'm gonna have fun with this y'all i've been wanting to do this for so long um I had my grinder already because, oh, okay, well, I guess that makes sense. I didn't have the, the bit in front of it, the plate in front of it, so it could just fall right through the hole, right? Okay, let's see here. Let me move this out the way. Okay, so on the back, on the bottom, should I say, here is the cord. And it has the little protectors on it. Okay. So, before we start grinding, I'm going to try to set it up and see if I can follow the instructions. put it right here because I'm left hand so I have to put it on my side for all you right hand people who run the world okay now we have, we have everything okay that's right this is called the cap cap this is called M. M is called the, oh, this is the sausage maker. So we don't even need this today. We will be making sausage soon, but we don't need it today. Okay. So let's see here. Oh, if y'all hear them in there, they're talking football. You know, it's football season. So they're in there talking football. Um... Okay, so see, this is why we gotta read the directions. Okay, so. It goes like this. So you take it counterclockwise and turn it. Boom, clicked. Then you put the food up here and then you grind. You put your bit right here. What? What you say? What? And then you feed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, y'all. <laughs> y'all can't see Lady D. She back here cheerleading for me. She got my back, y'all. All right. So now, just give me. Uh, then I got to press. I'm assuming this is to press to release. Yes. Okay. 
so we know I'm not a pro. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, y'all. Uh, oh, and then the feeder. So give me a second. Let me go clean these items really quick. You guys. Converse amongst yourselves. Give me two ticks, as Big Brother Land says. <laughs> I'm going to drop it in, Lord Jesus. Shut up, Earl. I'm in there watching your life. No, he, oh, he's watching it. Did you hear him talking to gold? Teasing me with his Bart Simpson soap self. All right. Vanessa's in there too, Earl. Oh, Vanessa. He said he don't know who he doesn't know who you are. What'd you say? Oil? Oh, voice. He said you're just a voice, Vanessa. drop stuff I should have I should have made a, a barrier okay hold on I feel like I need paper towels now Already figured it out. Come on, Jesus. Look at God. Give us the intelligence. Okay, so now I can put everything. Get that back like that. Everything over here. Okay. Part of me wants to play with the different uh, sizes to see what they're going to look like. I don't know. We might have to do that. Okay, so this went in. Yep, that way. Then this. Then we put that inside the groove portion. Turn and twist. What? What? Okay, then we. How do we do counterclockwise, right? Oh, wait. What did I just mess it up? Oh, come on now. I think I did it right the last time. Oh, do I have to push the button? It's a secret lever. Okay, something isn't right. I just knew I had it too, y'all. I was like sitting here like so proud of myself. Okay, let's do it like this first. Let's get her in. Okay, boom. Then is it you and you? Okay. Now, all, what I do need to know is which direction is the blade. I'm assuming this is the blade. I need to know if that's that go up or does it go down. So in order for me to see that, I have to take my glasses off. Don't laugh at me, y'all, but that's what I have to do. The blade outward. Okay, so this is outward. Okay. Sticker on my shirt. So the blade goes outward. And then put that in is 
still it's okay there we go all right now i have already cleaned my meat but what i didn't do is chop it up so i have some chicken breast and some chicken thighs and just gonna throw them in here so okay nothing gets wasted we're gonna keep the skin fry that i'll make that uh some fried chicken skin um my mom used to make it and so uh we're gonna make some and uh that's like the only piece of meat Selena really eats. Well, she she um, has become the the chicken skin bat bandit. So if we fry chicken, Selena will come and you'll see some empty pieces. Wait a minute, y'all. One second, I just realized something. Selena will come and, um, I could turn the spinach off. She'll come and Selena will steal the skin. You'll come and see that there's some chicken in there and be like, ooh, I'm about to get me a couple of pieces of chicken. The chicken's there, but they're, it's naked. They're naked because Selena loves skin. She acts like it's like a a tradition or it makes her feel nostalgic because she used to eat the chicken skin with my mom but whatever okay so um we'll fry the skin for selena but then the other thing that we're gonna do is i have been saving bones um, from uh, whether they're rib bones or chicken or turkey. Um, I've been saving the bones from when we eat because I wanted to collect enough for bone meal. I'm not for bone meal. That's another thing I'm going to do. Um, but not right now for bone broth. You know, the winter months are coming. And I want to be able to have that broth to keep us feeling good. So um, I don't have rabbits or anything. So all we, all I've been trying to say is pretty much the chicken. So see like this bone, I'm going to cut it out, cut the, the bone out and um, clean it really good later on. And then I'm gonna put it in the freezer. So all of the the bones, I just take them and put them in this zip, these Ziploc bags I have in the freezer, so that I could um, accumulate enough bone to put into the uh, the bone broth. Cause I want to make a few gallons of bone broth. Um, for those of you who don't know, bone broth is extremely medicinal. Um, it helps with, it is, I mean, let me say it correctly. It is, uh, it has been said, I put it like that, let me be PC. It has been said that this is really beating me up, right? I need a, a better knife, probably. It has been said that they, uh, that bone meal cures a lot of different things, but the, the thing that I think about is that it just has a lot of um, properties inside of it that helps, like, in the, the winter, the, the winter or the colder months, so that you can um, go ahead and, you know, uh, give it to your children. They say to give them, like, a half a cup a day. Now, let me sidebar for a second. I'm leaving some of the fat on 
so that we can have um, a decent fat content. You know, um, not a whole lot, but you know, gotta make it decent because what I don't want is a dry uh, chicken meatloaf. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. So um, every piece of the, the chicken, uh, this turkey, I mean this chicken thigh will be used. We're not throwing anything away. But one thing that I do wanna do, which will probably be when we get the next uh, round of meat birds and we process them, I will be taking some of those meat birds and um, I will be uh, taking the bones and um, dehydrating the bones in my dehydrator. You guys haven't seen my videos that I've done on dehydration because I haven't released them yet. I will be soon. But um, I'm going to grind them up and use that as my own bone meal. I'm gonna to try to do blood meal as well because my trays, I think you can dehydrate on those trays. I'm not sure. I mean, I think you can put liquid. That was crazy. Of course you can dehydrate, it's a dehydrating tray. But um, yeah, I'm gonna see if that will work. I'm just trying to make sure I get, you know, all the little marrow and everything out. But um, let's see, let's see, let's see how it works. So we turn it that way. And my bowl is right here. Let me just turn that over a little bit. Oh, yay, it fits under. <laughs> okay, let's just give it a whirl. Let's put a few pieces in. I'll put some thigh and uh, how about a little bit of breast? Okay. Push her down. Oh wait, what does that say? Okay, this says <laughs> Okay, I want to show y'all the difference. This is the breast. You can see, bring it up a little closer. See, it's a different, oh wait, there we go. Okay, you see the breast? Then you can see the difference between the thigh. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Y'all, I'm excited. We're about to get all of her together. Yes, yes. <laughs> Does it look okay? You know, it's my first time, so. Okay. Now, if I wanted it to be really fine, I could just use a smaller, a smaller one, but I think we're doing okay. I think medium is fine. So. 
So let's see here. Ah. Yeah, I don't like um, dry meat. So like I used to go to this um, to this market in uh, Gardena, which is still LA County, but um, it's its own city. And um, it's like a sub city, a city within a city. LA has a lot of those. But um, anyway, it was a um, Islamic place and I used to go get my ground uh, chicken from them. The only problem was it was just strictly all breast. So I had to be careful of like what I cooked with. I would like mix it with like ground turkey because I didn't want it to be um, dry. Cause like what we're making tonight, we're about to make meatloaf cupcakes. And I'm sorry, but I don't want dry meat, you know? That's like, even when I would go to the grocery store and get the, uh, the ground beef, I don't particularly care for the, the 93 because it's too dry. So once I learned to, the way to prevent that was to have a little fat in it and to use the thigh. I said, oh, okay, you don't have to tell me the ones. And see, when I found out that the USDA, from what I understand, and you can look this up, don't take what I'm saying as, you know, the gospel, but that they allow things that I wouldn't want to eat into the meat, like um, a pound of an ulcer can be ground up in your ground beef or your ground turkey or your ground chicken. I, if I don't want an ulcer in my body, why would I want to eat something that was in an ulcer of an animal or, you know, anything like, come on, people. Make it make decent sense, if not good sense. You know, but, hey, it is what it is. I think I'm going to wind up switching out knives. Believe it or not, this knife is actually pretty sharp. But um, these are the knives that I, I got from Costco. But um, I do have some other knives that are even sharper. Because I want to be done with, with these uh, thighs. Earl is always teasing me, or teasing people, not just me. He used to really say it to my mom. He used to say, you have to be, what is it, 10%? Earl? You have to be at least 10% smarter than the equipment that you're using. He's so rude. But um, I feel like I need to have a sharper knife. So I'm going to get a sharper knife. And this, this knife is even a lot lighter than the other one. Yeah, this one's better. Look at me trying to get every little piece, right? Okay, I'm going to let that go. Let's see. Move that meat down. How many more thighs do I have? Like five more to do. Okay. I should have had Lady Dean here helping me. But you know, it's football season. They ain't got time for me. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you know it's true. Y'all love y'all football. I ain't hating. I'm not hating. When I was in school, I was on the powder puff team. That was the girl football team. We played a couple of games. Not nothing all big or nothing. Just amongst ourselves for the most part. But I played 
volleyball, basketball. I did drill team. I was in chili squad. Um, did a little bit of softball. Did a little bit of track and field. A little shot put. Just a little bit. I don't even think I stayed on the track team for a whole season because it was like in between two different um, two different uh, games that I was in, two different uh, teams that I was on. And so our coach wanted us to stay conditioned. So he wanted all of us to do track in between. So when whatever the next sport came, I can't remember what it was, but whenever that next sport came, it was like, okay, bye track, thank you. And that was that. But if you guys can tell me who has had meatloaf cupcakes before. You hand, show of hands of those who've had, oh, I'm acting like I'm reading it, let me see. Oh, wait, what did I do? Hey, I'm still here. I'm driving home. Hey, best yet. Look, Lydia, I'm always driving. Always driving. You know, I get it. Be safe. Godspeed, honey. I get to say that to somebody else. Because <laughs> y'all are always telling me to be safe because I'm always driving. I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I didn't drive. It's like such a constant part of my life. But um, at some point, I would love to uh, have enough money to, even if it was just like for, I don't know, a week just hire a driver to take me everywhere I want to go. Like, take me to the grocery store. Take me to CVS so I can pick up my medicine. <laughs> just so, something where I don't have to drive and I can just be chauffeured. Like, that would be so awesome. But I think God knows what he's doing because even when other people are driving, I still feel, I mean like when I'm in a car with Vanessa, I'm good. Because my bestie can drive. I tell y'all, my bestie can drive her butt off. But, um, I don't trust that everybody's driving. Okay, these are all done. All right, let's put some more in so I can make some space. And I'm just having fun. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Next time, I will have the meat already chopped up with tea Okay. 
all you gotta do is just push it down. Just push it down, yeah. We figuring it out, y'all. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. But yes, I want to know who has ever had a meatloaf cupcake because I love you got to clean the refrigerator out. I love meatloaf cupcakes. Um, I used to make them a lot when we lived in LA. I used to sell them actually, but um. I haven't made them since we've been here. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to show them how to make meatloaf cupcakes. I think I might have made them when we first moved here, but I'm not sure. I know I've talked about them before, but I know I've made meatloaf, but I don't know if I made cupcakes. But I'm going to show y'all. They're so easy. And when you do them the way that I do them, you can get all of the four food groups in one meatloaf cupcake. Because I make sure you have the vegetables in there. You have a little dairy. You have your starch and your meat. And they take about 15 minutes to cook so it's really quick yeah y'all this is what I should have had in the beginning because this is this night is just like getting it getting it all I don't know if y'all can see that but it's getting it so for all of you guys on the east coast and you know in the south and everything i apologize and if y'all have to cut out i don't you know take it personal or anything i know the two and three hour difference you know over here versus where y'all are oh man okay well i just lost my glasses Let's pray I don't cut myself because <laughs> everything is blurry without my glasses on. Okay, now if I can. <laughs> oh, Lady D, I might need you to cut, put my glasses back on my face. You really don't know what I'm going to say to your people. What happened? Yeah. Now, I was just going to tell your people. Y'all, she thinks she got me as an assistant tonight, but it ain't happening. <laughs> I don't need you as an assistant. I just need you to put my glasses yeah. back on. They're over here. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look, 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 look. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah, they can't even see. This is, this is madness. Thank you. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. It's because I'm sweating and I can yeah. feel them rising off my, like, yeah. they're falling off my nose. So disrespectful. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is crazy. This, I tell y'all. So, okay. Um, let's do this, you guys. I want to thank you guys all because I'm pretty sure just about every person, if not every person that is in the chat, participated in me making my thousand subs. Oh my gosh. It's crazy because like, I felt like it happened so quick because I was like at eight something. It was like eight 70. I had been in like 832 for a while, but I hadn't really been doing too many videos. I had been just like, by the time I get home and everything I, y'all, I pass out normally, I go to bed, I, I be asleep. I be in the bed like six o'clock at night, like real talk, because I got to get up so early. But um, Vanessa be calling me, she be calling me like 
7 o'clock. You in the bed? Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Sometimes I fall asleep on her. I'm feeling so bad. It's like 9 o'clock and I'm falling asleep on my best friend. It's so sad. But I get got to be out by, by 1 o'clock at the latest. So, you know, hey, that's my life right now. All right. Finally done with that. So, um... I did my live on, what was it, Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday. And I was saying I would like to get to a thousand. I had tried to do it before my birthday, but that didn't work. But, you know, I was trying to get it done by the end of the month. And if I could get it done this week, that would be great. And then the crazy thing is that day, everybody just came in and just like killed the game. And the next thing I knew, I was on African Dreamings and I'm checking my, I was checking for a video and I saw my sub count and I was like nine away. And so I'm like telling African Dream like, y'all, I only need like eight or nine to get my thousand. And the next thing I know, people were telling me congratulations. I had went over. I said, oh my gosh. Really? Like, wow, this is so stinking cool. I'm like, I didn't know what to do with myself. I was so just excited. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to see what the smaller 
see what it's going to look like. Oh, I made it tight, didn't I? Second, they wash your hands again. Oh, my gosh! Putting these clothes on with wet hands is noisy, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Oh, well, you know what?
right, put that in the freezer. Push all the air out. water on to boil for the mashed potatoes and I'll go ahead you know what no you got to come out the way I'll push the button that's right Now, we can get on to the next portion, and that is actually making the meatloaf. Now, I don't use breadcrumbs or anything like that. I use bran flakes. And I know a lot of people are like, bran flakes? Who bear? Why would you use bran flakes? And I'm gonna tell you why, because most people struggle with fiber in the diet. And so this is a way to get good fiber into our diet. Now, I know some people would put this back through. I don't think that I need to. It's good like it is. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So everybody makes their um, meatloaf different. This is how I do it. I'm not saying that anybody has to use cereal. You use what you want to use. If you want to use breadcrumbs, if you want to use um, panko or cornbread, you do you, boo. Um, I used to just use regular cornflakes, but then, oh, some people use crackers. How about that? Um, but I used to use cornflakes and then I changed it to bran flakes when I realized that, you know, bran is better for you, for your fiber content. So, yeah. So, I'll just start with this and we'll see if we need some more. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So, let me show y'all. Okay. This is one of Lady D's eggs. These two came from the grocery store. We have some, we have um, a few white leghorns and they produce white eggs. So these two came from the white egg horn, leghorn. So as you can see, the one from the grocery store is bigger. Now, they will get bigger as they get older. They're still very young. So, um, then this one, of course, came from the back. And so, as well as this one, when I was cleaning it, I kind of cracked it a little bit. So, hopefully, it's not too bad. But I'm going to use these six eggs in my meatloaf. And see, this is the thing. If I wasn't grinding that ground, 
chicken, they would have been done. You know, this would have been done, easily been done. Okay, so let's get the eggs going. And then, of course, in the spirit of, okay, I thought I, let me see. In the spirit of saving everything, and I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, y'all. But I have cleaned my hands repeatedly, so, okay. In the spirit of saving everything, we take the shells, clean them, bake them, put them in the, um, I'm not sure about this, and I don't know how long it's been in there. Okay. It's good. Now you see the difference in the, the colors, but it's probably, well, there's probably a different, a different bird. Now for this portion, I definitely have to put on the glove. we're going to be using. So I will be using a little bit of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. I love it. It just gives good taste. If you are looking for measurements, I'm sorry. I don't do measurements. I guess I could. I don't. This is Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Now, as I put stuff in, I move it to the side so that I know what I have and have not used. Ground turmeric. It is very medicinal. A little bit goes a long way, so you don't need that that much. Just a little bit of gotta whisper that because I have people whose palates don't necessarily appreciate it. Onion powder. garlic powder. Now, if y'all know me, y'all know I am a garlic head. I, I'm garlic and onion all day. I do not find it offensive if you just got through eating some pico de gallo or a coney dog with a bunch of onions and or <laughs> you come say hi to me. I won't be mad. I'll be like, really? A little bit of red pepper flakes. How can I be down? I'll be like, how did you come over here without me, son? You guys, this is the Xanarans Creole. I do have Tony's, but Tony's makes me sneeze real bad. This one doesn't. This is the Zatarans Creole shake on the flow. I mean shake on the flavor. So I guess it has onion powder, garlic, I guess that's a shallot, some chili pepper, and some um pepper. At least that's what's on the picture. Okay, and then the last seasoning, y'all know, it's got to be the Johnny's. 
got to be the Johnny's. Now, I love Johnny's. This would be considered the seasoning salt. Johnny's does not have, um, uh, what is it, GMO in it. So, I really appreciate it. And y'all got it. I mean, I know that looks like a lot of seasoning, but look at all of this meat. We just did like five or so pounds of meat. So now over here, we're just going to take these bell peppers. Well, not you. You didn't need to go in there. We'll rinse you off. We have these bell peppers and this onion that Miss Maya chopped up for me. Um, these were sliced and not uh, chopped because of the fajitas that we're going to be making, the chicken fajitas. So when I had her chop up the um, bell pepper and the um, green onion, I had her just do both and put them in the same bowl. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have had her uh put them in different bowls but it's all good yeah see six eggs because some of the eggs were smaller this is working out really good and i was thinking i was going to need some more cereal but this is fine everything is going to bond just fine because you really use the um the cereal and the egg as bonding agents so that the meatloaf will stay together but we don't have to worry about that so it's looking really good i promise you guys these things cook so quickly and my oven has already been preheated to 350 Now, if you guys use different seasonings, hey, you do it how you do it. You know, this is your kitchen. You do how you do it for you, you and your family. No problems with that. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is um, line... So this is two dozen cocaine covers. So we'll just line them up. I'm gonna use the rest of these. Uh oh. Now, if you are feeling very adventurous, you can take. Any type of cheese, basically, that you chose to use, and you could, uh, like, shredded cheese or cubes even, and incorporate that into your meatloaf, because I do put uh, cheese into my meatloaf. However, the way I'm going to do it this time will be just slightly different, but it's still going to be incorporated in. So... Let's hurry up and get that done. And I'm telling you, you can take, you can make these and then if you want to put a little, um, you could just serve these like, you know, oh, that was perfect, with some, um, some vegetables, 
spinach or something. That's all you need. Because this is a whole meal when I'm done. Because, see, I'm using spinach. You'll see how we do the spinach in just a second. Well, not in just a second, but in a little bit. It's crazy. But it, it works so good, and it tastes phenomenal. And I'm not just saying that because I made it, but, I mean, I'm just being honest. They're bomb. Okay, so then all we're going to do is take a little bit of meat and move it around. Try not to spill so much of it like I just did. I got to go back and see who's in here. I think I just saw Triple Threat. Hey, Triple Threat. I just, you, okay, so for those of you guys who just came on, I'm making uh, chicken meatloaf cupcakes. I just used my grinder, that of my electric grinder, because I already had a handheld grinder. But I just used my electric grinder. We just ground up all that ground chicken. And so now we're going to make some meatloaf cupcakes. And so, um, yeah, just gonna, now, you know, you can make these bigger or smaller, you know, like that might be a little bit too much, but we're just gonna kind of form them somewhat like a ball because you know, when they go in the oven, they're going to shrink. So if you want to make it a little exaggerated, we'll take this one. We'll make this one just a little bit exaggerated. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's big. You see that that's big. It's probably gonna spill over a little bit, but it'll shrink. But what you guys could do is take the take this, make your uh meatloaf. Uh, I want to say batter, but your, your meatloaf, uh, yeah, I'm going to say batter for lack of a better word right now. And you could freeze it, you know, just, I, I like to get stuff to make it to where it's, you know, easy for me to have to do. Like this one here, we're going through all of the steps right now. The only thing that was kind of pre-done was the, um, the bell peppers and the onion was already pre-chopped. But could you imagine if I already had the meat already ground, or grounds, and um, I already had the cereal chopped up or crunched up, it would have just been like, throw this in, throw that in, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, boom, boom, boom. But I had to do every step. But it's all good. Um, but this is just having these ready, whether you're using ground beef, ground pork, turkey, chicken, I've never tried fish, so I don't know what ground fish tastes like. Well, I guess if you eat, no, because even in fish tacos, that's not the case. Um, but uh, have you guys ever had ground fish? What does it taste like? I've never had ground fish. I don't know if I want to know. I don't know if I want to try ground fish. Cassandra, have you ever had ground fish? My Renaissance grandma, have you? What about you, Triple Threat? I wonder. I'm kind of interested now. You've, okay, sounding. Okay. Okay. Have I ever had it? Hmm. I guess the closest I could say I've had is like a salmon croquette. Or some of you guys call it salmon patty. I guess that would be the close, closest 
to it. I don't know. But now I'm kind of wondering, like, if I should get some whiting and send it through the grinder. <laughs> Most fish sticks. Oh, yeah, fish sticks. You're right. Cause, but that's cod. But, yeah, you're right. Yep. That's true. Okay. Almost done. Last one. Let's make it a big one. Let's make it a big one. All right. Now let's see. If we were to make this into a burger and smash it down, do y'all see how big that is? Look at that. Salmon patty. Yeah, me too. Salmon patty. Now I love a salmon patty. Who don't play with? With me. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is just throw these into the oven. On the, behind y'all. What the? Water is boiling for, let me pull y'all back. I can unplug this. Okay. Where are we at? Right here. Okay, I'm gonna make my mac and cheese. I mean, the meat, like the mashed potatoes. What am I saying? Now, Meatloaf is gonna be, I mean, this uh, mac and cheese. Why do I keep saying mac and cheese? Mashed potato. It's gonna be kind of easy. Get some butter. So we're going to take not the whole stick because we're not making that much mashed potatoes. Now this just came straight out the freezer. So okay. Look at that. Over here because I'm going to use it again. This is half and half. Rinse off my whisk. I am the type of person that likes to put the seasoning in before. Now, let me just assure y'all, it be looking like I'm using a lot of seasoning, but I'm mindful because I do have high blood pressure. So, I'm very mindful. This is my mashed potatoes. I get it from Costco. It's three point uh, three and a quarter pounds of mashed potatoes. I pay like six something for it. If that, I try to wait till they're on sale. 
Now I've turned my fire off because if not, it would be popping like hot, like grits and I don't want to get popped. So this is the thing I love about um, like making mashed potatoes and stuff like that. If you make it too thick, all you got to do is add hot water. Okay, so this is a 32 ounce mason jar. I'm gonna add like a little bit at a time to get it to the consistency that I want. I want it to be not as thick, but not watery either. So let's get it. Let's get it to where it's gonna go. Oh yeah, this is about right where I want it to be. This is good. I'm going to put a little bit more water in because I know it's going to thicken again. Because what this is going to do, the mashed potatoes is going to be the, uh, the whipped cream, the topping. Yeah. Uh-huh. So here we go. I'm gonna make I'm gonna pour the rest of this water in because it still was like thick. Because as it sets, it's gonna get thicker. Just like grits. Alright, so the spinach is done right here. Whoa, spinach is done. Mashed potatoes are done. Now. I like to uh, try my best to clean up as I go so that there's not a big monstrous drop in the end, especially like right now because it's already late. And I do, believe it or not, I still got to go to work tonight, y'all, for this morning. But I have to get this video done. So, but see, this is like, it's almost done. I'm almost done cleaning. So... Oh, that was the other part of the butter was going into the spinach. And I'll just let it uh, melt itself on in there. Well, that's for that. Now, with this brand cereal, I don't have a Ziploc bag big enough for it. So. If we have available clamps, which I guess we don't, because I'm not seeing any, I'll just cover it and put it in the cabinet. Okay, so now I can get caught up in the chat. Now let's be and say it. <sighs> hey y'all. Oh, I need to put that in the Ziploc bag. Hi, you precious. Girl, okay, so thank you for saying that because I'm supposed to get started with the cannon while the meatloaf is cooking. I was gonna do just some, some jelly. You need a triple threat? Okay. Um, I think for the sake of, um, for the sake of time, okay, hold on, 
Let me show you. Juice. Okay. So, if we make the jelly right now, which I'm here for it now, I don't have a problem. We have white grape, we have mango, and we have kiwi strawberry. Now, I am going to make all of them because I try to make jelly once a year. Now, let me tell y'all something. I do, or should I say I have the white grape, yes. I have gone out and I have bought like 20 pounds of apples and 20 pounds of pears and 20 pounds of strawberries and everything. And I will sit and I will peel everything, chop everything up, boil it, all of that good stuff. I do do that. I haven't done it in a while because when you buy these, as long as it says 100% of the juice, so this is 100% juice and it's no sugar added. So when it says added sugar, it says zero. So it's just the regular sugar. It's the same as if you took that time and peeled it. Now, I'll say this. If you are growing your own fruit, by all means, go into your garden, go to your tree, pick it, do what you're going to do. Hey, work it out. But because of the astronomical cost of fruit right now, this was like two something, maybe three something. So was this. And so was this. Why? Because I get stuff when it's on sale and then I put it up. Now, the problem for me can be that my children see the juice and of course they want the juice. So I had six bottles of juice. I can only find three. I had apple juice. I had apple cider, and I had Welch's grape juice because I wanted to make the grape jelly as well. But all I can find are these. So that means that what? I've been jacked by the Jack Fairy, I guess, huh? Mm -hmm. But um, the pectin... Oh no, the pectin is right here. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, here we go. So, I have the pectin. I have everything. I have my jars are already ready to go because I had already intended on canning these, um, making the juice. So, I mean, I'm up anyway. We can go ahead and make this jelly real quick. It's, it's super quick because I don't have to cook anything. I don't have to do all of that, you know, chop it and stuff. So give me a second because I'm, I got to put this up. This is going to refrigerator. And then I have to move the mashed potatoes. I have to move them because I'm going to need the pot that it's in, that they're in. I think because I can get all three of them going at the same time but I don't know where I'm looking for a specific pot that's what I'm trying to figure out I have a, um, a, a cast iron on the outside I think it's ceramic on the inside. Um, Dutch oven is, is red, it's so pretty, I love it. And I love working with it. But, um, put this up. Put this up. 
let me see. So what I'm going to do is take the tape into here because um, we're going to make our, you know, this is going to be our frosting. So I'm going to show you guys how you can um, do this with just using a Ziploc bag because you might not have a pastry bag. So if you don't have a pastry bag, just using a Ziploc bag, or if you have the pressed in steel, that's what I was looking for. And it took me a minute because I was standing at my drawer because it has like, you know, the wax paper, parchment paper, foil, Ziploc bags, all that stuff. So I'm sitting here going, I know I just bought some pressed in steel. So I'm like, okay. Slow down, stop for a second, and really just look and see, you know, if you're overlooking it. And I did that, and I still didn't see it, so I said, okay, it must not be in here. So I'm going to do that right there. I'm going to put this over to the side for now. I kind of want it to cool off a little bit because it's going to be in my hands. Let me clean this pot right quick. One second. So now, let me clear it. Oh, shoot, I still didn't put the food up. Clear everything out just to get it up. 
just to get the leaves out of the way. This has to go into the city. This was the kind that I already did. This is for sausage. So this goes on the, the grinder. This is for our sausage. We're gonna be making some sausage. And then I'll know what's in my sausage. It's already done. making jelly is that you do well if you're not using like a low sugar you use a lot of sugar you do okay let me bring y'all close gt what's up let me see cassandra precious You're watching what? Oh. Oh. Let's dry this out. I'm drying this out because I'm going to be putting the sugar in here to uh, measure. So when you watch different people, uh, they say to do different things. But for me, I try to go by what the directions of the package say. If I could open this up. So GT, um, I don't know how long you've been in the in the uh, honey pot, because y'all y'all know this is the plant the honey pot. Because I'm poo bear, so you know. Gotta have a honey pot. Okay, so. I gotta take my glasses off. I had to tell y'all something. Use wisdom. I'm very cheap. 
and I'm cheap to a fault. So I went to, um, it's called American, American Eagle, I think it's called, where you get the glasses. I think that's what it's called. And for, uh, you get the two glasses in the eye exam for $69.95, right? So I'm nearsighted. So of course my glasses are for me to see far away. But I could have paid the extra money to get double, so I could have double vision, so I could see near and far sighted, but I'm cheap. So I did it. So I either have to go get my reading glasses or you know, my close up glasses for me to be able to read. So it's my reading glasses. Or I have to take them off and put things close up to my face because I was being cheap. Don't be cheap. Be, be wise. So, this recipe that I'm using, it tells you right here, okay, so the quick recipe, one box, four cups of sugar. Now, if we were using the cooked recipe, then you would need seven cups, but I'm not using, wait, the cooked recipe. Oh yeah, that's when you cut them out. I'm not doing that. So that's the, the quick way. Then you have this right here. For those of you who uh, have never used the pectin, because this is, that's what this is. This is the box of pectin. So it tells you everything. This side right here, the blue side is for if you wanted to make jelly for the freezer. So you can actually do that. You can, you know, freeze it. This is the quick and easy freezer jam recipes. So all of these are like different recipes. But on this side, this is for the cooked jelly. And so we're going to be cooking it. So we're going to use... Seven, wait, 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 hold up. Because we are, yeah, we're going to use seven cups of sugar. That's why it's so important that we don't use sugar added. You have to get the, the uh, juice that's no sugar added. Because could you imagine... This already has its own juice because, you know, juice is in fruit. But then if they added sugar, and then we're going to put seven cups of sugar, that's just too much sugar. So, okay. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to take um, one cup and we're going to mix it in with the, um, the pectin. So... Putting the glasses back on so now I can see. Okay. The one thing I did forget was a bowl. Drive my bowl. If y'all ever want to get me something, th this is who I am. I love Pioneer Woman. I, I do. I watch her channel. I, um, I've watched her and her family grow. Let's check on the Meat Love Cupcakes. Oh, yeah, they're just about done. See? Told y'all, no time. Let me move this out the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it like this. I'm going to take this pectin. Let me turn it this way so y'all can see 
what we got going on around here. on there so let's see it tells us up here I got oh my butter let me get my butter out So now what we're going to do get our seven cups. So this is a four cup bottle I mean a measuring cup. That's your seven cuts. Okay. So once you do that, you have your everything set. Oh, wait, see, no. I'm gonna take my butter. I'm gonna set it on the stove so it can start to melt a little bit because it was in the freezer. Sure, it's 
I'm not sure if it's five or if it's six. This is what happens when you only do this like once or twice a year. Six cups. One more. I kept saying like that was a lot of juice left. That's more like it. So six cups of juice, seven cups of sugar, one pack of pectin, one um, tablespoon of um, one tablespoon of butter. And if you want to put just a little tiny teaspoon of lemon, you can. So now, should I do the kiwi, strawberry, or should I do the mango? Let me rinse this out. Are we doing kiwi or are we doing, are we doing kiwi or are we doing mango? Good night, GT. Oh, Precious tapped out. Okay, tap, tap. Precious tapped out. All right, let's do the kiwi. Y'all, this smells so good. I love kiwi strawberry. So we're putting four plus two. So we're going to put that on to the stove. So now what we're going to do, let's move that out the way. We're going to put them both on to boil, but not on high. And we're just going to let it come up. To, I have it on like five and mine can go to six and high. So we'll let it cook for just a little bit. Let it get to a boil. Once it gets to an almost, uh, what do you call it? Um, roaring. By the way, 20 seconds. Oh, y'all said the mango. Okay. No problem. We can do that too. Said number to word. Let's get the mango going. Just 
just put these in there. Because yeah, there's only three left now. But I have more. I have a lot of pectin. Okay. Let's get everything ready. Because we're going to have to... What I'm going to do just so that I don't lose my mind is once I get to the roaring, roaring, oh, this, this needs to go on too, huh? Yeah. Once it gets to the roaring, um, roaring bubbles, what am I trying to say? Once it gets to boil or roaring boil, then we'll start adding stuff in. And then that part goes pretty quick. And my mason jars have already been cleaned, already been sterilized. So I'm just gonna put them on to, uh, I'm gonna put them on to boil in a second. Just not to really boil, but to get them ready because I'm going to be putting um, hot content into it. Hey, Mike. Hey, that's good, GT. I got a small one. Wait, wait, wait. What y'all got? Let me see. What, GT, what do you have? Okay, that's good. I got a small one a couple of months ago. We're ready to, st oh, to store some food for the winter. Yes, yes, yes. We got to store. Oh, okay, okay. Um, um, Mike, what you might want to do, if you have space, you know, I don't know your situation, but if you have space, um, just look into getting a freezer or just start canning everything you got one last year okay yeah because we we um we have stuff but it took time to you know to get it's not like we just were balling out and we could just afford to just buy everything all at once that's not our that's not our story the way i am like not last well yeah last year but even before last year it was my mindset that we were going to be moving so i knew that when we moved we were going to be starting a business but one of the main reasons good evening hi hi so we made we made a decision to uh start preparing to move so we started buying fruit trees. I started buying fruit trees. People who've been here, y'all know I was buying fruit trees like a, like a crazy person. I have a stand-up freezer too. I have the freezer that goes to that refrigerator. I have a stand-up freezer and then I have a deep freezer. And then um, I'm gonna be getting out of my mom's storage, my, uh, my mom's uh, deep freezer too because hers is bigger than mine. Hold on, you guys. I gotta clean the whisk. And now I'm gonna um, get the canner ready. Now, I'm going to use this canner to make the um, jelly. You don't have to use a canner. I'm just choosing to. You can use, you know, a regular really big pot for jelly, but... I'm going to use my canner because it's big and I can do a lot with it. 
So what I'm going to be doing right now is just, first of all, let me turn this fire off, pushing that jelly a little bit to the back. No, I'm not. Bring it back over here. I just want to get the jars ready. I can see what it's looking like right now. Oh, see, I almost forgot to put that back on. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to fill that up and start putting the mason jars in. These are the four ounce, but then I still do use the eight ounce. But I use what I have. before but it's been a long time so what I'm doing right now is just warming them up I'm gonna just have them ready then when I transfer when I put the hot content in it won't be like a big shock because I don't want to break my jars Whenever you guys are um, canning, make sure your jars, if you're canning hot stuff, make sure your jars are hot. Because what you don't want to do is have a cold jar, then you put hot content in it, and then it busts on it. So... These are, I think these are the four ounce. I don't think anything else to fit. So then I'm just going to put water in there. Then turn it on. It doesn't have to go so boil. It just to keep it warm, you know. And my rack is in there. Always make sure that your rack is on the bottom because you don't want your jars to go straight to touching the bottom. So you want to use. A rack. You want to use a rack if you don't have a rack and you just absolutely need to. You can also take the rings and use the rings. I think one more will do. Let's see. Not even a whole one. Okay. Then 
then we're just gonna put the lid on. Well, we don't even have to right now. We don't have to put the lid on. Now, this one is starting to boil, but it's not a roaring boil. It's just a mini boil. So, that's fine. But, oh yeah, let me stir the pectin. I'm back, back over yonder. So, we wanna stir this pectin together with the sugar. And then I'm gonna to have to do that for the other two jars as well. There's one thing that I always seems like I always seem to forget, and that is do I put the pectin in first or do I put the sugar in first? Because there is a science to this, so I don't believe in just throwing it all in there like that. I do believe in trying to follow the directions as best I can. So again, let me take my glasses off. Use dry measurements, exact amount, perfect, okay, liquid. Stir in one packet of premium pectin. This is the saucepan. One tablespoon of butter, or what, a half a tablespoon of butter. We mixture to boil. So, what we can do now, um, oh wow, the one back here, wait, what'd you say? I have dwarf orange tree, ooh, it's not dead, it hasn't grown in two years, I plan to dig it up and transplant it in five a oh, 15 gallon in a minute you can do that but you know what have you um thought about like maybe the area that it is in maybe that could be why it's not growing it could be that it could be it's not getting enough shade or maybe it's getting too much shade Are you giving it enough fertilizer? I don't know if you guys know. A lot of y'all, I'm sure y'all do. But when you buy butter, it tells you what a tablespoon is. So each stick is eight tablespoons. So the recipe is asking for a half of a tablespoon. So let that be my guide. I'm sure y'all already knew that, but just in case somebody watches this video and didn't know, now they'll know. And the whole purpose for putting this little half a tablespoon of butter in is just to prevent the cloudiness because you can get it can get really cloudy. So we're almost to a roaring boil for this one and this one. And I'm gonna have to turn the oven off because the meatloaf is done, the cupcakes are done. Let's see. 
Oh yeah. I'm gonna take them out in just a second and clear this area out. I'm gonna need another thing of sugar. Normally, I have a little trash bag, but I don't today. Okay. What y'all saying? Yeah, GT. Good night. Okay. Now, when this gets to the roaring bo uh, boil, you're supposed to let it uh, sit at a, a roaring boil for a minute. But now it's time I'm pulling that little bit of pectin in. And then you stir. This is a constant stir, so. Oh, wait, hold up. Okay. Gotta just keep stirring and it should work its magic. Not that I believe in magic, but you know, it'll start to thicken. This one's getting to the roaring boil. Y'all, I'm over here across uh what is it? Cross contaminating the jelly from the, I mean the juice from the juice, but it should be okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna start pouring this in. Steady whisking. Starting, I can feel it. You, you can't see it yet, but I'm feeling it. It's getting thick on me. So this is cool. This was the, oh yeah, the white grape. So this is the white grape, that's the kiwi strawberry, and that's the mango. Yeah. Okay, let's check on you. All right, let me get the pectin ready for that one. And the sugar. Okay. Let's get the pectin part done. So it's one cup of sugar, one pack of pectin. We're gonna do a half a cup of sugar. That's what I think it is, six and a half. Uh, a half a cup of sugar to one pack of pectin. So I'm gonna finish, oh, you know what? Huh, gotta dry it out. that in, get it stirred, I'm 
just talking to y'all like y'all could see me. It's not getting as thick as I would want it to. I probably should have used two. We'll see. And you know what? The good thing about it is two things. If it doesn't solidify, there's two things you can do. You can redo it, which is fine. Or you can do what I do. Use it as syrup. Either way, you're not losing. You're not losing at all. So, I'll let that cook a little bit. Start to thicken and add that sugar. You stir this. And if it doesn't work, then guess what? At least we were sitting here chilling, right? Okay. Let me get the next pectin box ready. Ready to be. Never made three jellies at one time. I have done two, but I've never done three, so I'm challenging myself with y'all. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. It's thickening. I just, I think I should have let it get to a, a rolling boil a lot better for this one. But it is thickening. But I'm gonna call it a play. It might mess up, it might not, but I'm going to call the play. I'm going to put some more pectin in. Now, I could be committing jelly suicide, or it might be very intelligent. We'll see. I don't know. What y'all think? Did I do did, did I just commit suicide? How are you doing back here? Let me put some depicting in that one. 
I did not do it. I was getting ready. And then I stopped. All right, so now we got to get the sugar ready as well. So six and a half cups of sugar. So this is four. I'm still talking. Oh, okay, y'all can't see me. Okay. that in there. You guys, did I put sugar in here? What? I think I did. I did that already, didn't I? I did. Not. I'm doing too much. I'm not remembering. If I, if I didn't do certain things, that's not good. That can be a recipe for disaster. Let's see. I'm gonna do one. You, this is my trash bag now, y'all. So I can stir this up. Okay, yeah, I hadn't put sugar in, okay. Now we have a roaring boil right here. Okay, let's see y'all. Oh, we've been going for two hours. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reduce the little bit, reduce it. Okay, now let me stir this. Let that pectin cook. You don't want really want to turn your back because if you turn your back, you can burn it. Hi, Selena. because I don't want to be here while I'm cooking. Ah! Oh, so now he starts barking. Uh-uh, hold up. The watermelon is right there. No, the, food, the whole thing. Over there. Oh, she, she cut it. Ah! Oh. Ah! Hey, Selena. Oh, she cut it. Oh, that's Don't tell the dog to shut up. I'll be worried about the poor dog because Selena be mean telling them to shut up. I'm like, uh-uh, we don't do that. We don't tell the dog to shut up. That's his only means of communication. Barking. Okay. 
Okay. We can put the sugar in there. I want to hurry up and get these done so that I can finish the meatloaf cupcakes, y'all. But we're almost there. So let me see what y'all talking about in the chat. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Man, I'm telling y'all. I um haven't made jelly. I haven't made jelly since I've been in this house. When we came here, I had just made jelly, so I had made um it was like 48 jars of jelly, so we didn't we didn't need them. So uh we we didn't need jelly because I had made we had pear jelly, we had apple cider jelly, we had apple juice jelly, well apple jelly and um Kiwi strawberry, oh no, kiwi watermelon, that's what it was. Kiwi watermelon, no, yeah, kiwi watermelon because it wasn't this one. So we had a lot of jelly and um, then we had a grape, we had a, the regular grape juice, like with the Concord, Concord grapes, yeah. So we had a lot of jelly and my son was like, um, excuse me, mother. That's my proper one, my oldest. I'm like, yes. He's like, um, we don't have any more jelly. Well, my Cassandra, let me tell you something. I'm showing you the easy way to do it. Just get you a jar. Uh, a, a half a gallon of juice, get you a box of pectin, a little bit of butter, sever. You can put some lemon juice in it if you want to. And there you go. Okay. All right. Put the sugar in. The mango. Miss Darlene cut up the watermelon and then um, we take the rinds and you know all that stuff to feed it to the chickens and stuff. So Who I ate took the watermelon. Selena. Who ate it? I don't know. I didn't get it. It's gone. I didn't get it. Oh no. See, this is why I said go to go to the show, get the watermelon. Go come back where everybody go come back with watermelon for everybody. I came back. I asked for watermelon for myself. Well, I wasn't buying you your own personal watermelon, Selena. Ooh, that's why I'm going to TT. Because TT's buying my own watermelon. Well, you go to TT. I am. I'm in the Bye. Bye. Get to walking. Anybody walking? You're getting that there. That's a three day walk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is the two. What's that? The jelly. I mean, the sugar. Oh, God. 
You use seven cups. Oh, Lord. Woo. But that's why you use the non, uh, no sugar added to the juice. The, the juice is, doesn't have any sugar added to it. So it averages itself out. <laughs> so that's Dibor. So Lily, you're going to get away. <laughs> you're not about to be ignorant and, and doing all that disrespectful stuff over here while I'm live. You can just go away. I'm happy that it's funny. See, y'all, I'm telling y'all, she be coming over here trying to cut up because she wants me to cut up. Because she always trying to call me like out of my race. This one is a mango. This is white grape, and this is the strawberry kiwi. Mm -hmm. I had the the uh, Welch's grape, but apparently somebody it. took it. They drunk it. Mm -hmm. That would have been really good. Mm -hmm. Wait, mom. I'm gonna make some. Mm -hmm. Move that out of my seat. I don't care if you're taller than me. Yay, I'm happy for you. We get out of everybody. We can get out of my Good, here now. Move that out of my seat. Selena's been fighting to get taller than me for so long, y'all. I keep telling that child, I don't care if she's taller than me. That does not mean anything to me. She act like it's a threat. Where are your pants going? Okay, so, um, first of all, I'm lying. So, we ain't have no, no, nah, put it up. Um, it's good I need to rinse my ladle out. Oh, how much longer is this going to take? I'm not sure. No, I don't turn the comments off. They're there. See? <laughs> Say hi. What I would advise you to do, my Cassandra, is try offline. Oh, don't do not do a video. Do it a few times. Get good at it. Then do the video. So, Linda, give me the vinegar. The white vinegar. <coughs> it's right there. Okay. Wait. Don't choke off the watermelon. So <laughs> Where? Where? That's a big mess. Right there. Oh, that's the sanitizer. Right there. It's right over there. I'm going to eat the rest of this because y'all ate everything. Okay. So, we're going to start getting it together. It's still way too watery. I'm hoping it's going to thicken. Yeah, that's way too watery. Okay, so when you're doing this, you want to leave it. Oh, y'all didn't even see. Okay. Um, you want to leave it like a half a cup. I mean, a half an inch, like to this line. I try to leave it to that line. They try to say to leave it like up to here, but I, I try to take it to right there. Selena's trying to read the comments. Yeah, this is way too watery. But you see, this is why you are not dying. 
You are fine. That's your chest what? I hurt my chest when I call. Well, yeah, your chest should hurt when you call. That makes sense. Okay. All right. Now, Selena, ask me behind me. Where would you put it? Behind you. Behind me where? Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm just getting the lids ready. Oh, you can make the uh, watermelon with the seeds. Yeah. The white ones or the... No, I, I don't know about the white ones. No, people eat the white ones. The, white, the black ones? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I don't know. They look like seeds. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So, this is what... It is. I'm just going to take this, dampen it. I'm going around the edge. You go around the edge because you don't, you don't want any debris, like any of the um, sugar or anything because it'll stop you from getting a seal. Now, this is hot. When you put it on, you want to get it kind of tight but not super tight. And then you can just take this, put it back in, pull out another one, pour that water out of that, bring it over here, take this, bring it here. Now, I'll wipe this around, wipe it real good because you want it to seal. Because, see, if you have sugar. Or anything right there, it'll stop it from sealing. Oh gosh, it's hot. Okay. And now it's time to pour the um sugar into the uh the, the um kiwi strawberry well it can wait a little bit longer because it's still not boiling as good as i really need it to because this pot is in the way so once i get this done i can get that pot out the way i can put it over here and then it'll get to getting real good So now we can just quickly funnel. Okay. Yeah, these are all eight ounces. And you would think with a big family like mine, I would do more than eight ounces, huh? I should be doing the um the six the thirty-six gallon thirty-six ounce the uh quart. I might do some in the core. Okay. Yeah, this is probably going to be syrup, but that's good because then the syrup is done for the year. We'll see. Because I used to think that the only good syrup was like, you know, if you had your regular maple syrup, but then when I went to IHOP, and IHOP had all those different flavors, and they had the um, strawberry and the pecan and everything. I said, you know what? I have been lied to. I have been told that that was the only type I was supposed to have, and that is an untruth. Okay, let's play around. Uh-oh. So, then I started, ah, 
playing with the different types. Okay, we're gonna get this edge real good. All right. This is so hot, y'all. It's burning my fingers. Mm. Here's mine. Okay. Now, I'm never... I'm going to say this. I don't think I'm ever going to do three at a time, y'all. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to do three at a time. I think I have uh, done too much. It's getting there, y'all. I was having my reservations. I was starting to feel some kind of way. I was like, ah! But we're okay. It shouldn't look like this. It shouldn't be so soupy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to even try to front. But it's all right. We're good. I went to the Walmart to try to find that little push thing that Leia has in the cosmetics department, but I didn't see it because I want one of those. That would be so good for this instead of having to constantly get new um, paper towels and doing all that I was just doing. I didn't have enough lids. Oh, I guess I had uh, went out for a second. I didn't even know. Okay. Are you okay? Always check your glass. Okay, there we go. Make sure that your glasses are fine. Let's see how many do. This is the last one. Okay, then I'll put um, more jars in another pot shortly. Okay. So this white grape is just about done. Yeah, this is going to be syrup, unless miraculously inside the canning, it goes ahead and starts to gel, which I don't know. So if they all are like this, and I have to go back and look and see what I did wrong, and then tomorrow I will go live again and do it right, because I don't want to show y'all the wrong things to do. That's not cool. Okay. Let me get some more bands. The 
but that's the cool thing. We can always start over again if we need to. If this doesn't solidify, I can always just redo it. I can take all of the continents out and put it back in the pot, use pectin all over again, and start all over again if I chose to. And who knows? Maybe I will just to show you how to do it because that I have had to do before. I don't know if I got more safe than sorry, right? My goal, okay, I'm gonna have to scoop a little bit of that out. My goal is to get a bigger canner. I have this canner, it's called, what is it called, the All-American? It's like huge. My canner is a 16 quart. It goes to like, I think it's a 64 quart. Oh my goodness. I want one of those so bad. I want um, that All-American because you can take the 64 ounce and stack it on top of each other. So like my camera right here, it holds, I have three of these 16 uh, quart, but you can take it and um, move these, ooh. Don't go so hard. I don't want nothing breaking now. You can, oh, you're moving too hard. You can put um, seven, uh, seven of the quarts in here at once. If I had that all American, you can put 14 because you can stack them on top of each other. And that would just be so phenomenal to me. Now, this has just a little bit too much. Oh, it's hot. I'm gonna just take a little bit off. I don't wanna, whew, Jesus. Okay. All right, we're good. You know, the reason that you use, oh, see, I just messed up. The reason that you use vinegar is because vinegar is very stringent. It will get rid of grease and everything, so. It's best. Some people use, you know, water, hot water or something like that, but we know that Vinegar is going to cut through everything. And fingertip tight. You don't want to twist it until, you know, you got this strong lock on it. No, you don't want to do that. All right. Where are you going? Right there. Okay. So what I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to stop with the jelly just for a moment because it's not solidifying, so I'm not worried about it. But we got to get this meatloaf out of the oven. It's just been sitting there. We got to get that finished. to phase one.
Okay. So All right, y'all. I'm gonna have to let y'all go because I gotta get to the bottom of this. This dog's in the yard. Okay, bye, y'all. I I will do an update. Okay.